Alright, okay, so in my last video, I told you I'd get ALVR, but there is actually a better solution than just doing that. So first, go into any browser that you want. Oh, it's gonna take a while to load. <coughs> now, here, you want to go to this, uh, uh, where you want to go to this link, where the link is in the description. Oh my god. Alright, now, instead of going for the Windows Launcher, you want to go for the Windows Streamer. And don't worry, it is not a virus. Go for that to load, then remove it from history. I will wait if you want. And then go ahead and have this right here. So, you want to make a new folder for this one. So, just click on Make New Folder. And now, you just want to drag it in here. So, you have this folder with this zip in it. Now, if you don't have WinRAR or anything, you could just extract it, but I do. And I have 7 zip and WinRAR, so I'm just going to click on this and extract here. Now, once you've done that, it's going to be looking like this. It's going to be having all this stuff in here. And so you want to click on the dashboard, exe. Now, it says this false positive. You just want to click on more info, and then we'll run anyway. Now, here it will take you directly into the setup wizard, so that way you don't have to add version. So click on next, 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 and then if you want to have a mic, you want to download this, but I'm not. Next, next, recommendations, and then finish. And then from here, you have the Windows thing, and you have the LVR dashboard streamer, and it is the same version as you installed as on the other one, but it had more steps. So, you can play around with these, and just make sure you launch the VR, but, um, so go to settings, and then you can play around with these video, so there's presets, or there's all these presets, oh, also, you can change your mic to whatever you want, and go to video, this is all what it has, that's all it has, audio, this is what it has, headset, now here's where we get the good stuff, a headset, so go to headset section, and you see the prediction. You can tell the lower it is, the the lower it is, the higher the predictions somehow. But if the higher the frames, the lower the predictions. So I like it. Keep it all on. And you can set the emulation mode. So I'm on a this. But if you if you're on this or, or whatever you're on, then you see there's like tons. Pico 4, Quest Pro, Valve, and uh, yeah, you get the point. But anyways, now here we go. And here is the other stuff. So the left controller op position offset. So if you expand this, you could see you can uh, make your, uh, you can change the position of your controller by just sliding this down and around and make sure like it down, up, down, up. And make sure it's like actually good because you can test it out in the game. And then these are all of this stuff, face tracking, body tracking, whatever. And then there's all of these, yep. And then there's the max prediction, and predictions. I don't even know what, they, I don't even know what, what that is. But we got all of this extra, all this stuff, and that's it. And if you want to click it, if you want to close it, like let's say you're done with it, using it, then close it out. And when you're ready to open it back in, just click on that again, and it'll launch straight back in. Now just pin the taskbar. If you're wanting it, like say, just click on it, and boom, it's in here. It's it's here right here. But since this is on a virtual machine, I don't really think I will even send this. I don't think I will even play with it a little. But if this video is helpful, if this video was helpful to you make sure to like and comment because this took a little bit uh well and also i was also on my virtual machine because i do not want to do it on my actual machine actual host computer so if y'all enjoyed this video make sure to like and comment and subscribe so that way i can get the 30 subscribers our next milestone is coming close but hey yo we can make it we can make it all right well see y'all